Alright y'all, um, I said I was gonna do a video at 11, and not much has changed with Hurricane Laura, so I can't wait it till now. Uh, still not much has changed. Um, pressure is at 990, so it's still dropping, which means that the storm is intensifying. Um, now they're predicting it to be a Category 3, okay, which is at 115 right now, and I believe Category 4 winds are at 120, 120, 130, somewhere around there. So, um, obviously it's going to be a high-end Category 3 or a low-end Category 4 when this makes landfall. Now, a lot of people are trying to compare hurricanes. Now, each hurricane is different, okay? Um, now, if you want to try and compare it, I would think of Ike. If anybody lives in Texas, you would know that Ike was, I believe, 2008, and it was a low end, or high-end Category 2, and it caused extensive damage, okay? And I was talking about a high end category three, low end category four. Now I don't think it's gonna get past category four. You know, category five is just I don't I don't think that's gonna happen, okay? No, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. Um, you know, there's a lot of things working in favor for Hurricane Lore. Um, there's a little bit of dry air that's trying to get into the storm that would slow it down, but it's not gonna tear the storm apart, I don't think. Um, now again, 115 mile per hour winds right now, pressure's at 990, moving west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. Um, you know, really, the it could change a lot, okay? Any movement to the west or to the east could change a lot. Now, um, obviously, it looks like Lake Charles um, is going to be right on the east side. So Lake Charles, um, Alexandria, places like that, you know, definitely... You know, y'all gonna be on the front right side quadrant, which for anybody don't know, that's gonna be where all the severe weather is, all the tornadoes, the highest wind, the highest rainfall. So that's where the worst of the weather is, always on the right front side quadrant. Um, looks like the eyes gonna go near Port Arthur, Beaumont. But again, um, you know, 50 miles, 75 miles to the west, Houston could be right over it, okay? 50, 75 miles to the east, you know, it could be Baton Rouge right over it. So there's still time to, for it to move, okay? Uh, obviously there's still time for it to strengthen. You know, um, how strong it gets, you know, I don't personally think it will hit a category four, okay? Um, again, there is, a, there is dry air all around the storm, but this storm is so big that, you know, I don't think a little bit of dry air is gonna hurt it that much. Um, so you know, if you're in Louisiana, you need to start, you know, there are evacuations in place. If you're along the coast, you need to get out, okay? Um, Texas, you know, if you're along the coast, you need to get out. Now, storm surge is what kills a lot of people in hurricanes. They're calling for over 13 feet of storm surge. Like, 13 feet, okay? That's, that's more than two six-foot adults, okay? 13 feet, that, there's no way you can outrun that, that okay? There's no way. And that's not just along the coast. I'm talking like there are storm surge totals like nine to ten feet, fifty miles away from the uh, coast. So you know everybody there, you need to take the storm seriously, pay attention, you know, listen to the weather, listen to your local government, whatever they tell you to do. You know, if you need to evacuate, evacuate. Um, but definitely keep everybody there in thoughts and prayers. As always, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.